What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another V-Rising video. So, listen, there's a very important topic of conversation we got to talk about today, guys, and that, my friends, is going to be base defense. Before we get into this, though, shouts out to Z Vampire, him and his crew, Silas and those guys, uh, they're, they are the clan that's kicking everybody's ass on our server. Um, <laughs> I guess they've been in like all the betas. I was just in the last one, but they've been in all the betas and they just been crushing people. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that I made was that when I built my base, I was focused more on what was aesthetically pleasing, not necessarily what was strategically effective. And so today we're going to talk about, uh, what's strategically effective again, shouts out to Z vampire. He, he, uh, he, had, after they just ran through my shit, uh, they were like, he was like, yo, he's like, come to the base. He's like, come to our base and, uh, I'll show you what's up. I'm like, all right, bet. So I came over here. And this is what you guys are going to see here. Uh, this is actually one of the best base building locations in the game, in my opinion. Uh, as you guys can see, the reason why it's so good is because you only have one entry point, which is this point here, right? And then after that, you can't jump down here. You can't go through the Holy City. Um, this is the only way that you can get in. So you're kind of forced to deal with this uh, so you can get in and approach this place here, right? Plus, you have a very significant landmass and they were able to achieve this effect with only two hearts so even if you're a duo crew like this could work out for you you know what i'm saying so uh make sure that you guys uh take advantage of this if this area is open on your map uh because it's pretty dope but anyway we're going to talk about the concepts and how this uh basically works uh, for those of you guys who don't know what honeycombing is, um, if you Google honeycomb <laughs> and you see the shape, that's essentially how you're going to be building your base. The idea here is that you want to be as annoying as possible and consume as much time as possible when the enemy tries to lay siege to your fort. The reason being is because they only have a limited amount of time to use their siege golem, right? And a lot of people were complaining about how the siege golem is too strong, too OP. But the problem was um, we were, me included, because I was like, damn, this siege golem is OP. But I didn't realize that I was literally trying to build a base that looked like uh, like this. <laughs> this tower right here or like this little house. this this was my base before this little house right and i'm like damn man that dude broke through my wall man i'm dead right and then how it was explained to me because i didn't know honeycombing was a thing in this game uh like it is in other survival games but it absolutely is but how honeycombing works is you're basically building a chamber within a in, well, within a chamber so let's say this little square right here can you guys see my mouse pointer here so let's say this square right here was like your base and then you build another square around that square with little chambers around it right and then another square around that square does that make sense um, so th the simple form version is you're basically just building extra layers of protection to protect the thing that's inside that's most important now these guys took it up a notch because what they did was they built the whole last entire base as <laughs> as a as a shit ton of layers that you actually have to get through so you actually have to force through this if you plan to raid these guys so you got to go through let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve layers uh just to get to the other side and then once you get to the other side, you basically have to deal with them uh, after you've made it through their servants and all that other stuff. And then they have more servants to defend this part with like a small little defensive area here, plus their actual base here. Right. And so all the stuff that's important is here, which is the hardest place to get to. So if you happen to make it here um, after you make it through all of this, then you have pretty much earned your spoils of war. However, if you don't make it, well, doom on you. <laughs> so again, the idea here is that you want to create a situation that delays time, right? That makes your enemy work a lot harder than they have to risk a lot more resources instead of getting whatever they thought that they were going to get in return. <laughs> So as we get into this, and I'll just show you guys the entrance to my base, and these are the adjustments that I made after I got my edge invocation. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> and so when we come into the front part of my base here, uh, you guys can see that there are chambers. Now, if you guys are concerned about a base that you're thinking about raiding, and you don't necessarily know how difficult or easy it's going, going to be to raid, uh, one of the biggest things you could do is if you walk up to a wall, you can just kind of turn your camera. Now, granted, if there's stuff in there that you're not able to see, I mean, that's fine because there will be stuff that you won't be able to see. However, you'll at least be able to get a lay of the land structurally so you know what you're going to have to deal with. OK, so when you come through the gate here, like you guys can see that there are chambers right now. Granted, I can't make a hexagon, so obviously this is not a real honeycomb. But this is the idea here is creating different chambers, right? Or multiple barricades that your enemy is going to have to push through um, in order to get to whatever it is that your important resource is. Now, there are a lot of ways uh, that I found that you could do this. Uh, we've done this a lot on like other survival games like Ark, Conan, so on and so forth, uh, Last Oasis. Um, but the biggest thing is just making sure that it's effective, testing it, and then trial by fire. Uh, some people like to put their resource at the back. Some people like to put it centrally located uh, with a ton of layers that are surrounding that central location. Um, but you just gotta find the way that works for you aesthetically and what works for you strategically as well. Cause like your base can still um, you know, look good and stuff from the outside and still work out on the inside. So if, if your concern is that, I mean, you know, I don't want my base to look like a goddamn stack of boxes. I, I understand. Uh, but in order for you to prevent getting, you know, in order for you to prevent yourself from being raided over and over and over and over again, uh, you got to start looking at uh, structurally <laughs> what's going to work for you or just deter your opponent long enough for you to get your servants ready to go uh, or for you and your team to join the fight and you guys have a stronger uh, advantage than them just running through your whole last space like uh, <laughs> those guys did to us the first time. Uh, <laughs> that day was so funny too because I, I just started building my base uh, up here in the Cursed Forest and uh, I didn't get all my roofs and stuff up yet. So one of the guys literally flew in, right? He flies in bat form, um, lands in the base. I see him. I start to fight him. I get him to half. He gets me lower than half. So I like peel off. He peels off because I think he had grabbed some loot out of the chest because I didn't have my base covered yet. And then uh, at that point, um, he, he was like, he was after me, right? I think my, a piece of my armor, my weapon had broke or something, so my gear score dropped. And uh, so I had like a penalty. And then so he ran after me and I locked him in the room that we, I just finished building with like my smelter and stuff. Of course, he destroyed everything in there. And then so we just left him in there. And as we left him in there, then, of course, he called his crew. His crew came and they were like, you know, oh, how 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 could you leave a guest trapped in your home? Right. And then they they summoned a siege golem and clean my whole shit out. I just opened the door. <laughs> <laughs> it was no way I was defended. Uh, but then I got some 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 pointers as to uh, how this game worked because they've been playing, like I said, for a bunch of betas. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and share this information with you guys. So if you guys are in a situation where you're getting raided or you've been raided, because that shit is demoralizing, trust me. Um, but if you've been raided or if you're worried about getting raided, uh, you can actually take some of the, some steps that we talked about here today and start getting your base ready. Um, cause fortunately in this game, building your base is cheap, right? In terms of just getting the stone and wood and stuff. So if you guys have resources available in your chest and you don't know what to do with them, this is what you should be doing. I would start making sure that you have as many layers in front of the core. Um, once you get your castle heart maxed, you have 250 freaking squares, uh, to build with, which is a huge ass base. So this is going to apply to you, whether you're solo, duo, you know, trio, quadro, whatever, um, you can make this work. So with that being said, guys, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. If you guys are looking to support the channel more, uh, feel free uh, to become a member uh, in the link with the links in the description box or support me on Patreon. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damon, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. T R I N I T Y V2 Fly. B boy, L, the young son. I'll be damned like they know that they all run. Red wheel to the face.